When people think about cancer, they think automatically that it's a death sentence. And when you hear about cancer, that's what you hear the most. Hi, what's up everybody? My name is Derek Burns, and I am the owner and head trainer at Afterburns LLC, where we glorify God by helping individuals with breast cancer. We come alongside them and help them through their fitness journey. So yeah, in my earlier life, I was an athlete. I played football. So that's what got me really into fitness and taking care of myself. And so from that point on, I never let it go. I was an ordained minister at one time. A lot of times people don't think that God guides you from one place to another. Um, but what he, that's what he did me. I always had a love for helping people. This just was a great segue from where I was before to use my gifts and my talents really to benefit others and just set myself. Then I met Mama, of course. Uh, and began to really, really help Mama and the Tiger Lily Foundation and the people that were actually going through their journey with cancer or their battle with cancer. My father, um, who I love dearly, he was diagnosed with colon cancer, uh, my uncle also, and a number of different friends of mine, females that were diagnosed with breast cancer. And so I've, I've had some personal experiences um, with uh, different individuals in my life with cancer. When my father was diagnosed with cancer, of course it was a shock, because you always look at your parents as living forever and nothing is really gonna go wrong with him. You know, his faith was built upon God and he trusted God and you know, he, had, he told me, he said, son, I lived a very good life. So if God chooses to take me because of this, then that's fine. Um, but you know, he's doing well right now. And so, so I'm thankful to God for that. The way I help people is, is really, you speak life into them because when people think about cancer, they think automatically that it's a death sentence. And when you hear about cancer, that's what you hear the most. But cancer is not the end of life. When you help people put those things into practice, it, it just lights up their life because now they go from, they go from death, and then they go to life. Um, and you help people live with it or through it. When, when individuals are going through, or women are going through cancer, or men are going through cancer, they feel like they're doing it by themselves. And that's what I love so much about Tiger Lily, is that you know it's a, it's, it's a family, and they come alongside on um, the individual and they try to hold them up. My job is to partner with that person, come alongside that person, and kind of strengthen them where they're weak. I try to be that person that, that tries to help people um, in their infirmities and try to build them up where, where they feel that they're torn down. I have a small thing that I kind of live by, even when I'm going through my hills and valleys, and it's um, three words. Keep it moving. I, I repeat that to myself. Don't let anything in life, even though you're going through what you're going through, try not to let anything in life cripple you to the point where you can't keep it moving. Go do something that you like doing. Live life to the fullest. Because believe it or not, we all have an expiration date. You just know what's causing yours, but we all have an expiration date. So whatever time you may have in this life, Go, go do something that you love, get around people that brings you joy, and continue to live life to the fullest. Once you begin to get those small results, you begin to take that small step. You begin to do something that you weren't able to do a week ago. I think that motivates you more and it shows you that you can do more. Results drive motivation. I'm not Superman. Yes, I've, I have bad days. I have days I don't wanna get out of bed. I mean, I, I suffer with PTSD. So I, I have days that I don't want to get up and come to work. I have days that I, that, that I don't feel like working out. I have days that I don't even want to eat right. But I think for me, I know that someone is always looking. And because someone is always looking, that's my opportunity to affect their lives. So whether I do it directly or indirectly, that's what inspires me, because I know someone is always looking. So you need somebody to come alongside you. You're gonna need somebody that you can partner with or that can partner with you and that can walk through this journey with you. If you already have that person, latch on to that person. If they're willing to walk through that journey with you, um, two is better than one, believe me. If you have another person that'll help you when you fall, that person will help, you, help pick you up. 
If a person ever came to me with the news that their diagnosis of cancer um, is metastatic, I wouldn't know what to say to them. But what I would do is be there with them, be there for them, and walk through the journey with them. That's what I would do. I think me being more present, me showing them love, is much greater than me telling them anything. That's what I would do. I would, I would walk through it with you. I would hold your hand the whole way, the whole way.